Hi guys, I'm Dr. Michaela, the naturopath at Proactive Pelvic Health, and today I'm going to be discussing all about polyphenols and your gut health. Back in the day, like 400 BC, Hippocrates, a Greek physician, said that all disease begins in the gut, and we are learning that this is incredibly true. When I talk about the gut, we're talking about the tube that runs from our mouth all the way to the other end, and all the organs in between, so things like our stomach and our intestines. And lining that tube is hundreds of trillions of bugs and bacteria that make up our microbiome. And we're now linking the microbiome to a lot of health and disease. We can have harmful bacteria that make up our microbiome that lead us in the direction of disease, or we can have really healthy um, bacteria in our gut that makes us live a long, healthy life. We've linked microbiome to so many chronic conditions now, everything from neurodegenerative disease, autoimmune conditions, cardiovascular disease, um, Alzheimer's, even things like depression and other mental illnesses have been linked to microbiome. And what we know to be really important about microbiome is first of all, having a large number of good bacteria, but also that we need a large diversity of different good bacteria because they all play a role in our overall health. Our modern way of living really impacts the ability of our microbiome to thrive. Things like getting poor sleep, being stressed out all the time can really impact our microbiome. One of the biggest things is overuse of medications, specifically antibiotics, that are really, really good when we need them to wipe out the bad bacteria, but every time we take them, they also wipe out the good bacteria. One way that we can use to help manipulate our gut bacteria is our diet. This is actually one of the biggest ways we can start to manipulate our gut bacteria. So what we choose every single day to eat can either skew our microbiome in a more negative, unfavorable direction or in a health-related direction. Things like diets really high in sugar skew the microbiome to a more unfavorable terrain. Whereas when we eat lots of plants and fruits and vegetables and healthy proteins, we actually create a more diverse microbiome that leads us in the direction of health. One of my favorite ways to work on my gut health is getting in lots of polyphenols. Polyphenols are micronutrients contained in our foods that actually exert beneficial effects on our microbiome. They help the healthy bacteria grow, they help to kill off the bad bacteria and reduce the amount of toxins released by the bad bacteria. They also play a huge role in inflammatory responses in our body and our immune systems and things like pain and fatigue. So finding polyphenols in the diet is actually easy. Think about foods that have lots of color in them. That color is all of those polyphenols and antioxidants in those foods. Things like your blueberries, your raspberries, your blackberries, colorful veggies like leafy greens and red cabbage. That's why they say to eat the rainbow because each color has a different beneficial effect on our microbiome. These foods also tend to contain a lot of fiber, which helps to feed the good bacteria and create diversity. Other foods high in polyphenols include fresh herbs and spices, things like cinnamon, garlic, ginger, turmeric. Getting a diversity of these in is really, really great, as well as things like green tea. And I'll admit, dark chocolate and red wine are also really high in polyphenols. So enjoy everything in moderation, but really make sure to load up on those dark, colorful berries and vegetables. Bye, guys!